So, uh, Ipres Alewe, I think it was the shortest in history. At five, we up more than five minutes. We are just introducing something. We are launching, and then I think it's important in what will happen after after Ipres. So, uh, I'm here today to, first of all, Asante Nisan uh, for coming through. I, we don't, I don't take it for granted. Uh, Asante ni sana, sana, sana. Sisi kama team, sisi kwa sisi, we, tuwasema Asante. So as, as when I say, it's just a launch, it will take us less than five minutes, I'll take a few questions, and then we are done. Sindio? So to kuapa, Leo could launch the uh, referendum to reduce the number of counties in this country and elected officials. We are going to reduce the number of counties from uh, 47 to, to 8. We are going to uh, abolish nominated members of parliament, Kama MPs, nominated MCAs, nominated uh, uh, senators. We are going to abolish uh, the Senate in its entirety. Uh, we are going to abolish the position of women rep. Uh, because we we feel like uh, we don't feel like Kenya is overrepresented. Kenya ikona mtumoja, akona president, akona deputy president, akona governor, akona deputy governor, akona MP, akona senator, akona women rep, akona MCA. That's one Kenyan. That is uh, the county. Upande wa national, akona, akona regional commissioner, akona county commissioner, akona assistant county commissioner, akona chief, akona sub-chief, akona village elder. So a single Kenyan is represented by 16 people doing more or less the same thing. Yeah? So basically that's it. We're going to go around the country uh, collecting signatures. Uh, all we need is a million signatures. That will take us less than uh, two weeks. Uh, then uh, uh, constitutionally, we will uh, we'll start the referendum. Uh, and we want to Atutaki tutumia pesa mingi. Atutumia pesa mingi. Tukienda elections 2027. Hapo. Ukipigia rais, ukipigia governor, unapigia referendum. So we don't want to waste taxpayers' money. When you are doing the elections, that's when you are abolishing uh, the 47 counties. We are going to have eight governors, like the former provinces. Eight, no senators. We do not need senators. Uh, it is very unfortunate uh, because I am a very big supporter and uh, defender and uh, campaigner and mobilizer for women. But we must all agree that the, the current women rep have not done anything to support or to, to, to uplift women. So we have to abolish it as well. So we are going to do that. It starts immediately. From the moment I walk out of here, we are going to start the campaign. We will visit... We'll, we'll, we'll visit all the 47 counties. And we have the energy, we have the time, we will look for the resources. So uh, this is it. And it's, uh, the Constitution is Chapter 7, uh, which talks about uh, the representation of the people. If you look at, uh, let's look at America. We borrowed our Constitution, the 2010 Constitution from America. America has almost 400 million citizens for almost 400 million citizens and they have 50 governors <laughs> kenya has 53 million citizens and we have 47 governors the the intention the idea was to devolve services but we ended up devolving corruption 
So I repeat for the, for the very last time. Na kuna kitu, na ni mungu. You know, sisi tunaoparate na mungu. It is not our strength. It is not our, it is not our war. Sisi, hakuna kitu, na mimi I can give my personal testimony. Hakuna kitu nisha isema kwa inchi na yakakosa kwa pe. I want you guys to be witnesses. We will not have the counties after the elections. We will only have eight counties. Remember this, remember these words. We will not have 47 counties in 2028. We will have eight governors, no senators, no women reps, no nominated members of parliament. You can take that to the bank. Because taxpayers are carrying the burden of paying for, uh, for, for offices that are overlapping. To go to minister of sports in the national uh, executive, to go to minister of sports in the county, to go to minister of environment in the county, to go to minister of environment in the environment is going to be in the meeting is going to be to go to minister of culture and heritage uko kwa nini kwa executive cs ukienda kisumu mombasa unapata tena kuna wa heritage Wana, how many cultures do we have we are overrepresented and that is where the problem begins so uh, we are starting this today asante sana so as team sisi kwa sisi this is going to be our our next our next uh, uh, action asante sana mungu wabariki I'll take a few questions here. Uh, uh, Mr. President, mm. of course, when you are planning to abolish, or rather to present the, the referendum mm. so that the senatorial can be abolished, mm. don't you think, now you are going to start maybe on a shika, while you are going to have to have to have to have to have to have have to go too far to save this nation. We have to fix the nation nationally and in the county level we have to change the narrative we have these generations we have to root out corruption and as i've told you the intention was good we were to devolve services yeah but we devolve corruption so what we are doing is very godly we are just trying to to ensure that every coin yeah cdfp at the mcs Ata MCAs, tuta abolish. Hakuna kazi wanafanya. Na hizo CDF tuchukue tuweke, tuweke free, free education bro, it's possible. To abolish your CDF tuweke kwa education pa. Free primary, free, educa free secondary education. So, so what we are doing plug, we are not, we are just, we are fixing what you know is wrong. Like, I don't want to mention names, we are not, we are not politicking today. Politicking, it's not politics. Yeah, so I don't want to mention names, but you know what's happening in the counties? Kuna moja linunua Fanta, na milioni tatu Fanta moja, mungina alibai wheelbarrow, na seven million wheelbarrow moja, mungina hapa maali, kuna lands view, kuna lands view lifanya nini? So, we know what's going on, yeah? So I hope nimekujibu, I'm at least nimeji explain.